and welcome to the Daily Tip. I am your host, Jacques Cousteau. Why not? Why not? I like water and undersea creatures. Why not Jacques Cousteau? That's what I say. Monday, February, I look at my notes. <laughs> what day is it? Monday, February 22nd. Um, okay. First, how was your weekend? Was it spectacular? Was it awesome? Yeah, was it? Uh, I hope that if you were on the East Coast, you are digging yourself out of tons and tons of snow and enjoying, um, enjoying the winter as much as you possibly can. I've gotten some fantastic photos from uh, friends and, and people on the East Coast of their backyards, of their, <laughs> of their homes, of their uh, workplaces that look like, a winter, for me, a winter wonderland. For them, probably their own personal crazy hell. Um, okay, we have a lot, a lot to get to. We have viewer mail, if you will, and we have, of course, inauguration music, theme song, noise, sound, whatever you want to call it, for awesome, awesomeness Mondays. It's what we got, people. It's what we got. Don't fight it. Don't fight fate. Um, but before we get into all of that, and there's so much to get to today, uh, including, of course, the Daily Tip. That's why we're all here, the Daily Tip. Um, which <laughs> I don't think I brought with me, the Daily Tip. Did I not bring my Daily Tip? Oh... I did not. Okay, so here's the deal. We're going to talk about this first, then I'm going to excuse myself and get the daily tip and come back. Um, we spend ones of dollars on this budget here. Ones. Just ones of dollars are spent to create what you see here on a daily basis. So it's a very finely tuned operation. So, you know, things never, never slip through the cracks. Um, the only thing that I'm going to say about Olymp Olympic Fever is this. Lindsey Vaughn. Sean White, Evan Lysacek, and a name that I butchered a couple days ago, Alex Bilodeau. Yeah, right? Right? I mean, come on, people. Come on. Lindsey Vaughn, Sean White, Evan Lysacek? Come on! I, it was so good that I could almost forgive the crazy men's figure skating outfits. What is that? John Vervados, my favorite men's designer, if you're hearing me right now, I think you should just hijack the next Winter Olympics and design the men's figure skating costumes. There's got to be a way to make them look more masculine and still be what they need to be. Theatrical, graceful, comfortable, all the stuff that you need, seriously. But, right? So good. So good. Amazing. Lindsey Vaughn, really, really amazing. I mean, injuries so much stacked against her, and yet she's in there fighting it, and Sean White, oh, 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 and of course, a name, Apollo Ono. Hello, Apollo, this is for you, because uh, you rock. Okay, so that's all I'm going to say. Actually, I lied, I'm going to say one more thing, and this comes from, because I'm a liar, this comes from one of our viewers, and also somebody that, um, that writes to me on Twitter. Her name is Beth, hello, Beth from Chicago, and we have a couple things to talk about, Beth, and we'll get to all those, but she sent me, this is one of, oh, you know what, I should keep this, because this is part of Awesome Awesomeness. You know what, we're just going to go right into Awesome Awesomeness. Right at you. Awesome Awesomeness Mondays. Okay, there is a thing in downtown Vancouver called Zip Trek Eco Tours, and literally it's zip lining, and you are zip lining through downtown Vancouver, through, like, Olympic areas six stories up off the ground. Crazy, right? Well, that is awesome awesomeness. And what's even more awesome awesomeness is that her friend, who is afraid of heights, was waiting in line to go do this. I have so much respect for her friend because I, too, am deathly scared of heights. Heights and I, not friends. We're not friends. Um, but I have to tell you, and we'll put up the link here somewhere in the fancy new graphics of this uh, Zip Trek Eco Tours that's happening, and it's free. It's happening in downtown Vancouver, so if you happen to be in the area, um, I almost want to do it. Because you can go onto their website and you can see uh, what it looks like and all the fun stuff, and I'm almost like, you know what? I think I might actually do it. I say that now because I'm nowhere near Vancouver. What a, who am I kidding? Seriously. 
Um, okay, so that is one of the awesome awesomenesses for Monday. There's another awesome awesomeness, and this comes from Ruby, uh, a.k.a. Stephanie. Her name is Stephanie, but I think she also goes by Ruby. Hey, Stephanie, Ruby, how are you? Uh, good to hear from you. And she has, and I'm not going to go into all of them because there's many of these, and you can see all of them on the Angelo Home Ask Angelo link. They're all listed on there. All her awesome tips for Monday, and one of them is... Um, Start with a color that you love and only put it on one wall. If you're looking to use color in a really bold way, but you're afraid of saturating your whole room, do one wall of color. And one of the other things that she talks about, which is one of my favorite tips, is use nature and food as your color inspiration. The most amazing colors come out of, come out of nature and food. And she even has a little story on there about how she told her contractor painter to paint a wall color that was almost like a chocolate milk. And he kind of looked at her like, really? Really chocolate milk? And it turned out to be her favorite color ever. So that is two amazing, awesome, awesomenesses for Monday. Thank you so much, guys. There's, we got a ton, a ton of awesome, awesomenesses. So feel free to send in more, uh, and we will try to get to as many of them as possible on Awesome Awesomenesses Monday. Did I say that enough? And now what I'm going to do is we're going to take a little, a little um, music break, if you will, while I go get uh, the tip of the day. I'll be right back. That's right. We're back right here in the Daily Tip. I uh, hope you enjoyed that commercial break or music break or whatever that was. Uh, tip of the day for February 22nd. Are you eyeing too expensive wallpaper or fabric? Can't afford it? Can't afford to put it up in your room or your home? Just buy a little bit and frame it. That's right. This is one of my favorite things. Um, and we talked about this actually a couple time, a couple episodes ago in a very different context. But it's a tip that I think is worth uh, talking about and highlighting. Because this is a really great way to change up your space. And also change up your space seasonally instead of painting a wall. Um, going to a fabric store, going to a wallpaper store, looking at all the choices that they have. And this is a fantastic way to experiment with things that you would normally be afraid of trying in a, in a more permanent way. So instead of actually wallpapering a wall, finding wallpaper that you love, or even finding wallpaper that may be out of stock, so it's a really great deal, and just framing it in an inexpensive frame, or a couple of in inexpensive frames, and creating a montage, of, not a montage, wrong word, a collage almost <laughs> on your wall. And then you can film a montage of the of framed wallpaper or fabric. So it's a great way to use, especially something if it is uh, out of your price range, if you were to buy enough to wallpaper a wall or enough fabric to maybe make drapes or um, reupholster a piece of furniture. But you really love this fabric. It's a great way to buy smaller quantities and bring it into your space. So that is the tip of the day. We have something else to get to, but there isn't enough time. So on tomorrow's uh, tip of the day, Tuesday, I'm going to address Beth. Hey, Beth. And her question about what is her style? She actually went out and bought the book that I recommended, the Domino book, and now she's questioning what her style is. Fear no more. Question no more, Beth. We will come back to you with that on Monday because I just rambled on about awesome awesomeness. It was just so awesome. That's it, kids. Have a great, great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.